guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11, we are back. It's been a while since I brought you any kind of a prepper video, so we're just gonna go ahead and hammer one out here real quick. Uh, we were, when we moved into our house about a year ago, um, you know, all we really had for a first aid kit was just a simple, you know, 15 or $20 kit from Walmart, which, you know, it's functional, it's okay to throw in your car, it's okay to have around, but it was nothing really serious, I guess you could say. And so, not that this is, you know, like like a, a major trauma kit or anything like that, but we wanted something that would be a bit of a step up from what we already had. And we wanted to see just what we could do uh, for around 20 to 25 bucks. You know, is there something we could put together ourselves? Well, I actually am inspired to make this box from a Prepper Nurse video that I watched. I think she's called the Prepper Nurse. She's got a fairly popular channel. Now, whether you love her or hate her, that's not the issue. Uh, she went to Dollar Tree and showed off just what you can get, you know, for a one buck per item to put together a pretty decent med kit that, you know, you could take with you if you had a major emergency. Even the box itself, we bought a Dollar Tree for about a dollar, I think. Everything in here is basically a dollar or less. And so let me just show you everything that you can get in this very simple kit. Now I'm gonna have to put this all the, back together when I get done, but there's a few extra items I threw in here just because I had stuff sitting around, but in the end it really came out to being around between $20, $25, and that's all. So first thing we have are some antibacterial wet wipes. Okay, these work well. Uh, for just numerous uses, cleaning yourself, sanitizing, restroom, wiping yourself off if you have an emergency. I'm always trying to think what's something that we might need if we have to grab this and run, say, in the event of a tornado, because we live in the middle of Tornado Alley here in central Nebraska, right? We've got some latex gloves. Uh, we've got ourselves some gauze pads. Okay, and again, all this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. A uh, whole tube of hydrocortisone cream, okay? Fast uh, itch and rash relief, okay, very nice to have. Uh, I've got some extra batteries for the flashlight that I just threw into an old airborne tablets container just to keep them dry. It's not waterproof, but it kind of keeps them from, from uh, getting moisture on them. Anti-diarrhea tablets, and as you can see, those bad boys have been used. Not by me. Okay, and then uh, right here, we've got uh, triple antibiotic, which is great stuff to have. I always put this stuff on before I put on a Band-Aid. Okay, uh, what else we got? Your little pop-up light, stick-up light that you could place in place if you needed to set it up for any kind of emergency situation. Okay, then over here on the right side, we have a pill uh, crusher, I believe is what this is. So you can take pills and pulverize them into powder if you had to get them in somebody and say they couldn't swallow. Okay, then you've got yourself some medical tape. Okay, we've got some, oh, some wrap. I guess you could say almost like some gauze. Some of the stuff we did have to take out of the box, by the way, the stuff you see in the bags, you know, we took it out so we could actually fit everything in here. Um, we've got, I don't know what this is, looks like some kind of a cotton tape, all right? And we got some anti-itch cream, which I don't know if that's the same stuff as hydrocortisone, but we found that, so we went ahead and threw that in there. Uh, we've got a pill uh, splitter. You can put tablets in here and you can break them in half if you have to. Say somebody has meds and they can't take a full pill at every time. Um, got some Tums. All right, then we also have the flashlight. Okay, we do have batteries in there. Uh, we've also got, let's see, mucus, mucus relief, which you can use to clear out your lungs. Well, again, this is almost like kind of thinking long-term or maybe a camping pack. Um, aspirin, in case anybody needs one, if somebody has a heart condition and they need to take an aspirin. Some basic uh, saline nasal spray to clean out your nose if you ever need to do that. Uh, some allergy pills. Okay, and this is all Dollar Tree brand stuff couple containers of hand sanitizer. Okay, now I also have a full med kit in my Jeep, which I keep in my little bug out box. Uh, I had this just sitting around. This is just a little pocket tool, just you know, things we could use to cut and slice if we needed to. So very important to have that around. Okay, we've also got the Ultra Strength Pain Relief Patch. Okay, which is kind of cool. Almost kind of like a, like a you know, muscle rub or something like that. And then we've also got these uh, training pads which absorb fluids. Okay, you could use it for whatever you needed to. If you had an infant that had diarrhea or you were bleeding profusely, you could slap these on with some tape and you might be able to stop some bleeding. Now, I don't have a tourniquet in here. I do have that in my vehicle kit. That's for a little bit more serious situation. I don't have any quick clot, but I thought about maybe picking up some of that and some glow sticks, okay? So there you go. Just a few things there that you should consider putting together. If you want a med kit that's a little more serious, um, bandages, we do have bandages out of my vehicle already, but you could take, um, we've got a huge box from Sam's Club in the bathroom, but then we also have the kit out in our cars too. So we've always got band-aids nearby. We didn't want to put those in here because we'll have them with us if we have to bail on one of the two vehicles. And so that's not going to be an issue and we buy those in bulk. You could also put bandages in here if you wanted to, um, you know, just, uh, just in a baggie or whatnot. So let's see, three, six, 
And, uh, we're looking at about 25 bucks for everything, I think. But again, you're looking at a really good kit that you could do a lot with it if you needed to. Um, you could definitely treat many medical situations you might run into, you know, out in the field. And so something to think about doing if you don't have a kit and we're between 20 to 25 dollars, just go pick up the items that you saw here. Heck, take my video on your phone uh, into the store and go ahead and get the stuff that you need. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch this video again to figure out how to put all this back together. So there you go, guys. I want to thank you for joining me today. I want you to please like or subscribe. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this up so we can put those like button and subscribe buttons right here in the middle. And uh, also, please uh, keep checking out the channel. You can check me out over on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. You can support me over on Patreon with patreon.com backslash uh, TravisP11. And I'm also over on gunchannels.com with the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel. So there you go. All right, so again, hopefully today we gave you some great ideas for just a basic med kit that's going to be a step up from... Uh, basically what would be a same, uh, you know, similar priced uh, medical kit from Walmart, but has a lot more options to take care of yourself. This is almost something you could grab if you needed to bail or bug out, throw it in your vehicle and go, and you can really take care of yourself with what you have right here. So there you go, guys. All right. So I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Have a wonderful week, guys. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.